But you know, as a whole, I had a, I certainly had a great time to let you in on some of the things that I experienced. I think the first thing I went to was the Comic Book Girl 19 panel, uh, and that was fun. They the the description actually was that they were going to talk about X Men and stuff like that, and then tie in Comic Book Girl 19. They actually stated right up front that it was more of a they wanted it to be a, a how they got to where they did and you know some YouTube hints and suggestions and I was shit that was perfect for me You would have figured that they catered to just me. Uh, it was it was a, a really, really, really great experience. I think that was my favorite panel of the entire weekend because of the, the learning experience and the bizarre experience I had. <clears throat> so they, you know, they opened up, they gave you a little bit of history about each other for the first half an hour. And you know, they, they really they really helped a lot of things. They they talked about how they started getting big and you know, they opened up a Kickstarter and, and how she quit her job basically with the response from the Kickstarter and how the Prometheus Vita really started kicking things off. Uh, then they turned it over to Q&A. Um, I was like fourth or fifth in line and you know some people asked some questions and you know there was a ruckus in the back of the room. I could hear it and I just thought they were getting ready for the next the next screening. We're about 15 minutes away from the, the next uh, panel. So I'm next. Uh, it's just some open space between me and the microphone. I get ready to walk up and I get I get shrugged on my shoulder and you know a guy in a weird hat and sunglasses and he's just got all this crazy shit going on. He, he kind of pulls my shoulder and says do you mind bro it's me TJ. And like I was just so startled like I didn't know what that meant. Uh, it's me, TJ. Uh, dude, I don't. You're wearing a fucking bizarre outfit. I don't know who you are, what you're talking about. Who's TJ? So it turns out TJ of Silicon Valley, TJ Miller. You know, he's lucky I know who he is. It's not lucky, it doesn't really matter. Uh, but yeah, he, the, the two Silicon Valley folks, went and took the mic and I, I really got lost after that. They were pitching, some, they were doing some crazy thing for uh, their vodka. And literally, they had about no bullshit. 20 people with them, some people with cameras, some people with boom mics, some people constantly taking photos. Uh, they had uh, audience members that were uh, dressed up as bacon and a hot dog. And uh, yeah, I'll leave some of the comedy secrets alone, but man, they were sharp with the audience members. Um, it seemed as if it was sort of planned, but not really. It was just kind of all slapdash. It kind of made sense, it kind of didn't, yeah, whatever. I like Silicon Valley, I actually like a lot of things both people have done. I just didn't really follow what was going on there. On top of which, <laughs> I was next asked a question and they ran it so long that the, the panel ended right there. Uh, so I was directly affected by that situation. Uh, Comic Book Girl 19 and Ty did a tremendous solid, they said anybody who you know, had questions and didn't get answered, come check us out. We're at the autograph panel from two to four. I went over uh, and they talked to me for about five to 10 minutes, you know, talked to me about this channel and, and you know, things uh, about some of the stuff that goes on and, you know, some things to prepare for and, and other stuff. And it was, they didn't ask me for a penny. Uh, that was just them being cool. So uh, I'm uber, uber thankful to both Comic Girl 19 and Ty, uh, T-Bone as she calls him. Um, it was, it was a, a tremendous experience. I, I'm subscribed to them. They're one of the bigger people that, that I, uh, I watch you know, daily, monthly. They don't really release daily stuff. It's more of a quarterly, monthly type thing. But it was, it was an incredible experience. They were incredible people and uh, they really made up for, I mean, listen, it's not that I was angry. I was just, I was next. <laughs> Do it after me. <laughs> Uh, it, it, it was fine. It, it was a really great experience. It's not that if I didn't speak to them afterwards, I would really be pissed off or anything. It was just whatever. Things happen. It's entertainment. It's fine. 